Hi there, my name's Charity and I work in Children's Services at the downtown branch of the St. Albert Public Library. And I'm excited to be here with you today for another STEAM challenge because today we are going to be making popsicle stick catapults. They are quick and easy and a lot of fun. All you will need for today's project are some popsicle sticks. You're going to want about 10 or so. You will also need three rubber bands and a plastic spoon. Now, if you don't have a plastic spoon or if you would like to use an alternative, one thing you can do is you can glue a bottle cap to a popsicle stick and you can use that instead of a spoon. I used a hot glue gun to attach this because I know that it forms a really strong bond. If you were using white glue, then I might consider moving the bottle cap a little bit further down on the stick so that when I applied pressure, I was applying it to the stick itself. I haven't tested it, but I uh, just thought I would mention that just in case it doesn't form quite a strong enough bond and it ends up breaking on you, you might just want to try a different approach and move it further down the stick. Once you have all your items gathered, it's very simple to put together. All we're going to do is we are going to take out and reserve one popsicle stick. Then make a nice bundle with your remaining sticks and use one of the rubber bands to attach them together. I'm just going to wrap this round and round until I have a nice bundle. And then I'm going to take my stick that I reserved and I am just going to slide it in between. I am sliding it down at the end here. And then use another rubber band to hold everything together on the other end. It's almost ready. The only thing left to do now is to attach the plastic spoon. So I'm just going to line this up and hold it down using my last rubber band. Now I tried testing some alternatives in case you didn't have rubber bands at your house and I tried pipe cleaners and I tried string and I found that they worked really well for everything but the spoon. They didn't seem to hold the spoon quite tight enough, at least I couldn't get them to, and I would end up launching the spoon, which wasn't really what I intended. So just that I would let you know in case you're looking for alternatives on that. And there we go. Voila, our catapult is all assembled and ready to launch. It is that easy. Now we just need to find a projectile. I have a mini marshmallow that I am going to use because it is soft and light and all you have to do is pull back on the spoon and away it goes. <laughs> I'm going to try adjusting this a little bit here and that's something you can do to experiment. You can move it along and see if it makes a difference in how it shoots. And for this one here, I'm going to try something different because you don't have to use marshmallows. This is just some balled up aluminum foil. Well, let's try launching that and <laughs> they actually can go pretty high and pretty far. Try again using the other one with the bottle cap and let's see. For fun, I'm going to try launching this broken rubber band I have. Let's see where it goes. See, will it launch? Will it launch? Oh yes, <laughs> it, it went pretty well. So uh, if you would like to learn more about the science behind projectiles and their trajectory, the Science of Disney Imagineering has a video on this and it is available as an e-resource to you. It is on Hoopla and you can access it with your library card. And of course, we love to see what you've created. So feel free to share pictures or videos with us. 
and we hope to see you back next week for another STEAM challenge.